$6.99 for lemons. Five pounds of lemons, seven. You hear the scream? Seven dollars, I'd scream too. <laughs> this olive oil here, what is it? $38.99, $38.99 for this. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. What's going on? I just saw these two organic pine nuts, 24 ounces. Look at the shocking price, 30 $33.99 for pine nuts. What the f what What's the deal with these? Well, today we're at Costco, and uh, there's a storm out here. <laughs> and uh, it's called Arlene. It's out in the Gulf of Mexico, and uh, you can see around me. It's way out there. You can probably hear the thunder from here right now. And um, I haven't been to Costco for a while. Oh, my gosh. There's lightning out here, too. And uh, we're going to go and we're going to check the prices. Some prices have started to come down, but, but some are still high. And you know what they do with the pricing here is it's just like homes, just like cars. They double the price of it from uh, 2019, 2020. And then they lower it after they double it 100%. They lower it 20% and say, hey, what a bargain. It's still 80% higher than anything we've ever paid for. The homes are crazy here in Florida. And the groceries, the cars... <laughs> The, the homeowner's insurance and uh, of course the groceries so uh groceries so uh we're heading in so uh, let's go in let's check some prices let's have some fun oh when they're selling tents here in costco <laughs> what what is the deal with this where's the prices oh my gosh 239 i think i see 239 for a tent suv tent mattress bundle 239 here it is i guess it doesn't look too bad right you get a mattress and you get this on the back of your SUV for camping. So in there, that guy is $239 on sale. Now here's something. Now that there's a tropical storm out there, I already have a generator, and I'm going to start it up this weekend, but I want to get a, another inverter generator. And this one is, this is a nice one here. How many watts does this take? See, it's a dual fuel, so it runs off of uh, gas and propane. And when you use propane, it uses less running watts per hour, 3,000. So this isn't too bad. It's pull start. You see that? And um, so this isn't a bad one. Dual fuel, 649. That's not too bad. Regular 799. And this is, you need this in Florida. You need this for when your power goes out because it can go out for a day, two days, or even a week. And um, I just run power cords to run my portable AC unit and the refrigerator freezer. A light and a TV, but this is what you need down here. That's not bad. I see other people looking at generators now. And the price of limes, $4.59. I think they were $6.99 before, but, but they're tiny. Look at this. They're almost like a ping pong ball. <laughs> and $4.59. And the lemons, five pounds, are $6.99. Holy smolies. But they're big guys. They're big guys. They're monsters. <laughs> Lemons, uh, no, $6.99, my gosh, holy, $6.99 for lemons, five pounds of lemons, seven, you hear the scream, seven dollars, I'd scream too. <laughs> and here's pears, six, six ninety-nine. oh my gosh, four pounds of pears is six dollars and ninety-nine cents, they're organic, they look good, but that's the price, and what do you have here, kiwis, three pounds of kiwis. $11.99. Now that is absolutely, positively insane. Product of New Zealand. No wonder. Holy smolies. That's ridiculous. These were $5 or, or was it maybe $6 at, uh, at Sam's, but $11.99 for this. Holy cow. And the Boston lettuce is still $6.99 for this, for this little tiny thing of Boston lettuce. I know it's good, but there's not much to this at all. And $6.99 for that. And what else you have? Organic spring mix, four forty-nine. There's nothing to it. There's there's nothing to this. This is this is two salads, maybe, maybe not. And of course your celery sticks, four thirty-nine for a bag of these. And uh, how many celery sticks are you going to use? Four thirty-nine for that. Holy cow! Organic strawberries, seven twenty-nine for two pounds. Then your blueberries, six forty-nine. Same same price as as uh, Sam's. And then your strawberries, ten nine. Your, I mean, I'm sorry, your cherries, but they look really good. But they're, but they're, they're ten ninety nine. I just don't know. I think that's really pricey. Why is everything so pricey? What else do they have in here? 
Here's some carrots here, $4.99 for four pounds. That's not too bad if you have a family and you like a lot of carrots. And what else you have? A bag of organic carrots, six pounds for $3.69. It's a big, it's a big bag. Look at that. Holy cow, if you have a rabbit or something, <laughs> oh my gosh. And here's some asparagus, $6.99 for two and a quarter pounds. Two and a quarter for that. Oh my gosh. It looks good though, but it's $6.99. That's seven dollars. Baby Bella mushrooms, $5.79. They've gone up. But this is the cheapest you're going to find the Baby Bellas. They're really good when you saute them in butter, olive oil, and garlic, though. <laughs> oh, man. And what are the regular ones? Just your white. Um, mushrooms are $3.89. But the Baby Bellas, like I said, sauteed in, in butter, olive oil, and garlic. You can't beat it. Oh, I see my Montreal steak seasoning right here. It's on sale for $5.49, and I'm going to get some of this. A uh, viewer um, said that this is really good stuff, so uh, for $5.49, I'm, I'm going to give it a shot. I mean, what the heck, this can probably last a long time. And my, by the way, my favorite steak is a ribeye. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to get this guy. First item in the basket. So uh, I noticed something right behind me, too, and you're not going to believe it here, but look at this olive oil. Look at the price of olive oil, $38.99. Olive oil, holy smolies. There's That's canola, you have to look, but this is olive oil like this. $38.99 for olive oil. Can you believe that? That's ridiculous, isn't it? Holy smolies, what is happening? Why is that so expensive for that? And you have one here, just one for $23.99 for this. My gosh, now that's inflation. That's nuts right there. I just saw these two organic pine nuts, 24 ounces. Look at the shocking price, $30, $33.99 for pine nuts. What the f what, what's the deal with these? I'd never do pine nuts. Uh, I must be reading it wrong, right? 1.5 ounces, 24, tw one point, I can't talk, 1.5 pounds for 24 ounces is $33.99. That's insane. Look at this, $33.99 for pine nuts. This is a pound and a half pound and a half of pine nuts, $34, holy smolies. This olive oil here, what is it, $38.99, $38.99 for this. Oh my gosh, that's crazy, what's going on? Now here's some of the stevia, and well, I was reading about this stuff, it says it's supposed to be natural organic stevia, $16.99, but there's an ingredient in here, I forgot what it was, my wife's a nurse and she told me that this stuff isn't all it's cracked up to be, and uh, and and don't eat it just regular sugar is better but uh 16.99 and i've been i've been having this stuff for years and now i just read a study on it that there's something in there that causes causes heart problems and, and i said so oh, great we can't eat anything anymore can't eat eggs can't eat can't drink coffee now i can't have organic stevia holy smolies what do you do no, I found a solution to the stevia right here at Sugar. <laughs> 50 pounds of sugar for $43.99. Look at that big guy. Holy smokes, that's a lot of sugar. Oh, imperial sugar right here. 50 pounds is $30.99. I did find some olives, but they don't have the pimentos in them. But 34.2 ounce of, olive, of olives without pimentos is $5.99 for this guy. But see, when I put them on my crackers with the cheese, I like to look at the little bubbles in there. I like to have the uh, pimentos in it, but $5.99, and I got those two for uh, the, from Walmart for $1.50 each. And here's Spanish Queen olives, two 21 ounce containers. And right here, there's pimentos in there, but these are monster guys too. $11.99 though. I mean, come on, that's insane. The prices of olives, well, of olive oil has gone way up, so, so have the olives. $11.99 for the two guys. That's not too bad, but what, that's $6 a bottle. Holy cow. Now, I bought this stuff last time, this lasagna from Costco, and it was it was $16.99. Looks like it's come down 20 cents, but but I bought this. It's really delicious, and it's there's a lot to eat in here. There are two three-pound containers in here, which is six pounds total, and um, my wife and I both had it for dinner, and I took it for two lunches, so I don't think this is too bad. That This is Italian beef and, and uh, lasagna. Italian sausage and beef in here is just plain beef. I'd say that they're both good. $17.59 for that one. That's a little more, but that's a really good deal. 
here's some more of the farm raised shrimp and you know how my feelings on farm raised shrimp but I see golf golf raw golf white shrimp I have to look at this two pounds 21.99 I have to see this I have to look at this because I really like whoa look at that I really like golf shrimp where is it from that's what I want to know should say Gulf of Mexico but it says product of USA which is really good now this to me this looks really good right here $21.99 see this is what I'm talking about is you want to find it from from the Gulf of Mexico that's a good price right there that's only what $11 a pound that's not bad let's check out the prices of uh, the frozen fish this $15.99 for almost two pounds of cod here $18.99 for two and a half pounds of the beer batter cod. Holy cow, the Mahi Mahi's $18.99. Barramundi fillets $17.50. How much is the salmon here? Two pounds, four ounces, $23.99. Pacific cod, two pounds, $19.89. So that's not too bad. This is probably really good. I bet that I bet that's good because I really like cod. Wild caught Alaska cod. And see how they're individually wrapped. I like that. That's really good. They can last a long time in the freezer that way. Those look really good for $19.89. And what else do they have? Tilapia. Oh, I'm not a tilapia guy. Farm raised? I don't think so. Wild caught. Um, Kita salmon fillets. $22.99. I've never heard of Kita. I don't know what those are. But it says Orca Bay wild caught. And I noticed they still have this Chilean sea bass, $45.99 for a pound and a half. A pound and a half of sea bass. Sockeye salmon here, $36.99 for three pounds. Holy smolies, look at the prices here. That's crazy. Here's something my wife and I tried. These uh, Norwegian smoked salmon pieces for $12.99. And they're really delicious. We ate them in the parking lot. And uh, where's the other ones? The, the smoked salmon here, two 12 ounce packages, Kirkland. This looks really good, $23.99. I really like these too. And um, salmon's good for you. And um, smoked salmon here, $16.99, ready to eat. Oh yeah. And sockeye salmon, oh I bet this is good. Two eight ounce because it's sockeye. Oh I love sockeye, $21.49. But that's really good. Oh look at this, there's octopus. Octopus, really? Holy smolies. I love octopus. Oh my gosh, this looks good. Holy smolies. How much is it? $17.89 for 17.6 ounces. Doesn't that look good? Yeah, there's a certain way you got to do it, but I like it grilled. Oh man, I saw these dill pickle spears here. Six, $6.99 for 52 ounces, and they look really good with dill in there, don't they? Oh my gosh. And uh, my gosh, 52 ounces for $6.99. They just look delicious. I think that's pretty good right there. Here's all the eggs at Costco, $4.99 for two dozen eggs, cage free. And um, holy smolies, they've got a lot of them. And I see some orange juice here. Kind of crazy, tangerine juice. Two of these for $8.99. I'd rather get this than the other stuff. See the pulp? This looks good, $8.99, two 59 ounce. I don't know why there's not 64 ounces anymore. Shorten us uh, five ounces. I guess it makes a difference. And then you have the organic, 59 ounces. Again, $11.99, but you get two of them. You get two of them for $11.99. Sam's had one of them for $10. Holy cow. And then the Tropicana, three 59 ounces, $10.49. And, and this is good stuff too. It's made here in Florida, no pulp, but I don't know which one I choose here, but I'd, I'd like to try the tangerine. Two of these for $8.99, so you're talking $4.50 each. That looks really California tangerine juice. Really good looking stuff, doesn't it? Doesn't that look good? Oh man. Let's check the apple prices here. $8.99 for four pounds of Honeycrisp. But look at they have them in this fancy box too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> really nicely laid out, but $8.99. And Envy Apples $5.99. It looks like it's 17 cents cheaper than at Walmart or Sam's. $7.99 for a Crips Pink Apple. These are really nicely laid out boxes, but uh, the price is not attractive. Fuji, three pounds or $5.99. Three pounds of, of apples for $4.99, but these are the snacking ones. and They're little baby apples. New Zealand. Huh. I'm going to have to think about this. 
These might not be a bad price, $4.99, because I like apples and my wife does too. Four, this is the cheapest apples I've seen so far. I'll have to talk to her about it. She's filling up the basket with stuff. Look at this. Sheets, clothing. Oh my gosh. Vitamins. Buttermilk pancake mix. <laughs> but $4.99 is not bad. Oh, I saw some tasty uh, um, chocolate covered almonds here. 48 ounces, $3 off for $11.99. Oh my gosh, they look good, don't they? Oh man, and and I'm kind of hungry right now. <laughs> look at that, $11.99. They'd be uh, about half gone by the time I got home, though, I'm afraid. I better put them back. I don't trust myself with stuff like this. What are you, macadamia clusters? $14.99? Oh, these, these look bad, don't they? <laughs> oh, I better not get them. If they're held together with uh, caramel, oh, and they are too. <laughs> it's dangerous. I think I think these are better than the than the almonds. Oh, jeez, this is this is like a guilty pleasure right here. Fourteen ninety nine for that. Fantastic. I love that. I don't like the price, but for macadamia nut, that's not bad. And chocolate covered raisins. Used to get these when when I used to go to the show when I was a kid. Chocolate covered raisins, but I never spent fourteen ninety nine on them. That's pricey right there. I'd rather have the macadamia nut with the almonds. I mean with the with the caramel. That looks good. I just wanted to point this out. A plastic looks like a plastic picnic table. Oh yeah, it is. Look at this. Oh my gosh. And look at this. Oh, it said lifetime. I don't think that's gonna last a lifetime, but it's in commercial quality. Okay, that, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? $179. So I'm filling up my car here at Costco, and the price of 87 is three dollars and 19 cents for that, and 93 is 355. And you can see it; it's it's right over there, 355 for their uh, for their premium gas. And um, just filling it up, and I just wanted to show everybody what the cost is here. And it, it's it's starting to come down now, but you never know; this stuff can go up in a week and just shoot straight up. Oh, there we go. Look at this, $41, and I got 12 gallons. <laughs> well, I tell you what, it's starting to get packed in the store today here at Costco. And did you see the price of the olive oil? What is What has happened with the olive oil? That's the highest I've ever seen it. And the pine nuts, that was insane. That's just crazy. And the vegetables, they're still holding the price. The fish is going way up in price. The snacks are, well, everything is. Like I said, they, they raise stuff 100%, lower 20% on some items and say, hey, look at it, it's a bargain. <laughs> but anyways, uh, oh yeah, and don't forget, we got a tropical storm out there in the Gulf of Mexico already. But anyways, I hope everybody enjoyed the show. Give me a thumbs up for like, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Until next time, this is Scott with The Real Economy. We'll see you.